Okay. So I will explain you one scenario. You can test it from your side. There is a business process named as. Talent review. Hmm. So this is the case that I have got from my. Okay. You can see update my talent profile, complete talent review. Okay. Okay. So for an example, if he is making any changes, okay, during this update my talent profile. If anyone is making mm -hmm. any changes, mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. in that scenario. It should go to the HR partner. If in case he is not making any changes, it should go to HR partner. Okay, that is the condition rule that the client asked me to set up. Okay, so those fields are not easily available. Okay, if they are making some changes, uh, for an example, in the talent review process specifically to education. Mm. Okay, or maybe related to any certification. Okay, mm. so what they want is, uh, if in case he is not making any changes, it will directly. I will make that step for you, just to make you understand. I will not save it. And here the condition rule is not working. I'm not. Do you have access to community work the community? Yes. Okay, we have brainstorm for that one. Oh. So I'm still working to get a work around. I will let you know. I have got one, but again, that is something which is not working. An example, I will put this as D. I will put this as C. So it's just about whenever anyone, any individual is updating their talent review. Yeah. Uh, so the I mean under the talent review is it about some specific information like you mentioned education or the certifications? Is Let's it see. for some here? Here we have a talent review for worker. Hmm. Okay. So for an example, I assigned some employee like for an example Betty. Hmm. <laughs> Let me assign to her. She selected worker. This one already has a talent review in progress, so it will not work. I have hmm. to select some random worker, maybe Sean. But I'm not sure whether it has the full setup or not. But still, let me select randomly and let me see if I'm able to explain it. John Brown. I'm just selecting some randomly review. <laughs> okay, maybe related to talent review or something, anything. Like uh -huh. you might have seen, we have created one talent review named yeah. as Raj test. Okay. Yeah. So, so for an example, if you are assigning to any worker, okay. Now what it will, as per the business process, it will go to the employee. Okay. Mm. So it will go to some employee. Not sure why it is not going here. Maybe that for that employee, there is no proper setup. Okay, this is not going because of due due date. They have a due date of one week. Okay, mm -hmm. so it will trigger after that point of time. Let me change that. So it will go immediately at least. I just don't want the steps to be delayed. I want them to go immediately. So right now, as per the business process, what the setup is, it will go to employ. Mm. Okay. After that, once the employee is done, it will go to the manager. Manager, okay. Okay, right now we have changed it. 
let me start for another worker so um, we initiated it for one employee and now we changed the definition uh, that is not going to impact the one who is already initiated for which it is already initiated is it so see right now for that worker the business uh, process was different okay huh? if you see if i select the same worker right now it will not go because it has been because... already triggered to him correct see? so right now if i go to his profile let's see See, his workday account is also not created, so we cannot proxy. This is someone who has created it randomly. Hmm. Okay, this is the problem with this tenant that we have. Okay, right now I will show you what I was trying start, and I have to select some worker. So this is the main problem that happens here. I have to select some good worker, maybe. Mar I got your point. Uh, my question was for John. We already initiated uh, uh, the ten, ten, uh, talent review, correct? Yes. And after that, we changed the business process. Mm -hmm. So, will the change in the no. business process? So, what will happen is, as the business hmm. process has changed, we have dates. Okay. It will hmm. trigger as of the current one that we have. Okay, so it is not going to impact the one which is already uh, for which it is already triggered. Yes. Right okay. now, for an example, you can see here I started for Mark. Okay, now we'll go to his profile and I will make some changes. Hmm. So, mainly whenever you're working in this tenant, try to assign something to someone actually for whom you have the picture. Okay, means that is. Uh, the standard one that you have in that one at least you will have each and everything set up so right now i went to his profile i will go to his inbox and i will start his standard review see update talent review you go to this so for an example, there is no changes supposed to be done in this one. So you can add mainly here whatever education, suppose if you want to add anything related to education. So what my client wanted is, for an example, if they're making any changes in this education section, so for an example, he's removing this. Okay. And he's not making any changes. Then this step should go to HR partner, not to the manager. If he's not making any changes, then only. No, if he's not making any changes in the mm -hmm. talent profile, mm -hmm. it should go to manager. HR. But oh, if okay. he's making changes, it should go to so HR partner. So that was the condition. So I, so normally this education field that you can see, okay, so that we cannot get normally in making the condition. So I created a couple of calculated fields, okay. From there, I was able to do it, but the problem arised, I made the correct condition rule, okay, everything, but still the step was correct. But still, it was not going directly to the HR. Uh, it was not going to the manager. Whereas my steps and each and everything is correct. So that is the case uh, which I am working right now. 
Uh, I have got one solution. Okay, they are what they are telling me as based on the community that I have searched. But still, I am not sure about it. So I am still researching on it, like why that is behaving in such a way. Okay. Yeah, right. really. So mainly, as I was telling you previously, like the business process that we have seen, like creating a configuration and all, is very easy when it comes. But the complexities arises when there is some changes that the client want. Okay, like creating here the calculated field. Apart from that, getting whatever they want, like they don't want the changes directly to go to the manager if someone is changing. So right now, what mainly they did is. one of the solution that i got actually in that scenario what is happening sometimes it is giving me uh, when i'm testing sometimes it's working fine but in other scenario it is giving me the wrong, wrong results okay so what they have suggested me is because of the security group assignment that we have done okay it is not checking properly and in the community they advise me to add an additional step before this action step okay which is nothing but a service step for step configuration placeholder service this is a new step that in the community they have told me to add and the reason that they have stated me is in the community mm-hmm. part that is the reason why i asked you whether you have community or not okay in this what they are con- telling us this condition rule is not evaluating the security of the role that we have defined okay so in this scenario we have to assign a security group okay that do not have a field so for that reason we have to add this so i will have a better clarity once i have the solution for this so mainly in layman language it is telling the condition rule that you are making it will not behave correctly okay because it is not checking the security group that we have assigned okay like for an example i created one more step uh, update my profile and assign that to hr partner and i cre- i have maintain the condition rule so they are saying that because of the security group that i have assigned it is not evaluating the condition rule that we have created on this that is the so, reason yeah. why it is not giving me the desired result so they have advised me to add the service step okay uh-huh. for which whatever reason they gave i was not able to understand okay but in this scenario what is happening is the calculated field that i created sometimes it is giving me the right result sometimes it is not giving me the correct result so mainly what we do is whenever we work on any specific condition rule that we create we check the step condition like for an example for this worker is case we have a logger you know for logger hum is wali class ki jitni karna hai wo se base class ko wala logger can't we add any action step which uh, where the group is uh, defined for hr people and the condition is for uh, i mean again i'm not sure if any kind of condition can be put on those specific fields or not but sorry i didn't get you can you repeat i mean just like we are adding i mean we do have two different steps of uh, uh, yeah uh, for updating uh, the talent profile and complete the talent review where the group is defined as employee and manager can we mm-hmm. add in another action step where uh, the group is for hr people and uh, that that has uh, the condition to check on whether uh, the person is updating uh, the talent profile or not so see for that is only we are creating a step condition okay and mm-hmm. if the step condition so for an example i created a step condition which mm-hmm. is mainly going to check if there is any change in the education detail or not if okay. there is a change it should go mm-hmm. to hr partner if there is right. no change the rule will not be satisfied and it will go to the next step and it will go to the manager correct but created the same thing same thing but mm-hmm. the step condition is correct like for an example 
if there is no change okay hmm. but still it is going to hr partner okay the so like for an example like how i can show you that let me see if i can show you that from here like right now we do it one So I will show you like how we can test the rule. Whether the condition rule that we have created is getting hmm. satisfied or not. we can as we do not have any rule here hmm. but normally how to test the rule i will show you like here when you go to the business process hmm. there is no rule so there is no step condition that is maintained here that is the reason why you cannot see any rule or else here you will get one more additional option as a test rule in your tenant you can check okay in mm. that you can check the rule uh, the step condition that you have created whether it is getting satisfied or not if in case it is getting satisfied like i was mentioning it should go to hr partner if in case mm. the step condition is not getting satisfied it should go to the manager okay mm. but right now with me what is happening is whether the step condition is getting true or false it is still going to the hr partner whereas my step condition that i have created i have cross verified and is correct 